Hydrogen sulfide, or H2S, is a heavy, colorless, and toxic gas that can be found throughout the globe. It is often formed from the decay of organic material in areas deficient in oxygen and is naturally occurring around sulfur springs, volcanoes, and other geothermically active areas. In industry, it can be formed whenever elemental sulfur or sulfur compounds come into contact with organic materials at high temperatures. According to a World Health Organization study in 2000, only about 10% of the global emissions of H2S are the result of human activity. Effects of H2S have varying degrees of impact on the human body, depending on the concentration encountered. Typically, it's measured in parts per million, since it takes relatively little to have immediate serious health consequences. One part per million, or PPM, means there is one part gas per million parts of air. To put this into perspective, typically H2S smells like rotten eggs at approximately 0.001 parts per million. As a percentage, this equates to 0.0000001%. It is generally accepted that any concentrations above 500 parts per million, or only 0.05%, could result in loss of consciousness and death. You can see how it makes more sense to use PPM as opposed to percent measurement when dealing with such small quantities. If, however, you need to convert PPM to percent, simply divide the PPM value by 10,000, or if you need to go the other way, multiply the percent value by 10,000 to get PPM. There are other units used in the measurement of H2S, but for the sake of simplicity, we will stick to PPM for the remainder of this course. The boiling point of H2S is negative 60 degrees Celsius, so chances are that if you encounter H2S, it will likely be a gas, since most of us don't spend much time in areas colder than negative 60 degrees Celsius, at least if we can help it.